Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at one aspect of data validation and that's circling invalid data. So let's see how that goes. We have a little grid set up here that we're going to use as the area that I'm going to put some values in. And I'm going to set up the data validation to not allow numbers to be entered in there say between 5 and 20 and see what happens and then use da the data validation circling invalid data to find where those errors are so first thing I'll do is I'll highlight my area and in here I'm going to use data validation and I'm going to say whole number and I'll say not between 5 and 20 and so that there can be um, invalid data entered in there I'm going to just put it as informational and I'm going to say OK so if I go to enter say the number 10 here it pops up with an error I say OK it'll still allow that in there now if I try to do that to a whole block in this case I'm going to use ran between to generate a lot of uh, numbers say between 1 and 500 and do control enter it allow all that to be entered um, but there is still invalid data in there but how do we find it well the easiest thing to do is go up to data validation and choose circle invalid data I click on that and it's found five different areas where that da uh, those data are invalid they are between the range of 5 and 20 that we wanted um, the um, numbers not to fall using our data validation uh, to clear those circles, I'm going to go ahead and click on data validation and click clear validation circles and now those go away. One other thing though I want to show you here is that uh, again if you circle that invalid data and you have something like ran between which is a volatile function that will recalculate every time something changes on your sheet notice I'm going to hit F9 here to do a recalculation and when I do notice how the circles stay in the same spot even though the numbers have changed and now they are circling what could be valid data so if I go up to data validation and click circle invalid data notice the numbers now change to here so the key thing to remember here is again if I hit F9 several times the numbers will change but the circles remain in the same spot so if you have volatile formulas or functions in your worksheet you have to make sure to rerun circle invalid data if you wanted to find those items that are not valid in your data range uh, after you've done some recalculations. And there you have it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.